you will need two or more PS3 eye cameras, two PS Move controllers, and an optional LED tracker. Uh, the cameras need to be mounted roughly two meters up, and you will need to make sure they are mounted firmly and won't move. Point the cameras in the center of your desired play area. Now we're ready to set up a PS Move set. Okay, so the first thing to do is go to the first link in the description and download PS Move Service X. Go here to the Recess tab and download the latest one. Now go to the second link in the description, which is the Virtual Device Manager. Same here, go to Releases and download the latest one. And extract them to a folder. Now, enable Bluetooth, go to the PS Move Service folder and open PS Move Service Admin. Now open PS Move Config Tool. Click Connect and go to Controller Settings. Now connect your first controller with a USB cable. Click Per Controller. Remove the USB cable and press the PlayStation button until it's done. Now Connect your second controller, click pair controller, remove the cable and press the PlayStation button until it's paired. Now set up your tracking colors, in my case it's gonna be red and blue. Place your first controller in the center of your play area, then go to calibration and click calibrate magnetometer. Now. Move the controller like this. Then click done. Now click calibrate gyroscope and wait until it's finished. Now do the same for the other controller. So now you can close PS Move Service and go to PS Move Virtual Device Manager and open it. Here click Install PlayStation Eye Drivers. Click OK again and wait until it's finished. Now you can close Virtual Device Manager and now open normal PS Move Service. and PS Move Config Tool. If you want uh, head tracking and have an optional LED tracker, you need to go to Advanced Settings, go down to HMD Manager Config and set Virtual HMDs to 1. Click Save Settings and restart PS Move Service. Now set the tracking colors. In my case, my headset is yellow. My controllers are gonna be blue and red. Now go to Tracker Settings Select your first controller, in my case it's red. Click Calibrate Tracking Colors. Here go to Advanced Settings, leave Frame Width to 640 and set Frame Rate to 60. Now click Manually Detect Colors and select your controller. Do the same on other trackers, setting it to 60 FPS. Now go back to Tracker Settings Select the other controller and calibrate the tracking colors. Now if you have the optional HMD tracking, calibrate the tracking colors. Now what's left is to go to the PS Move Service folder, go to Assets, Calibration, Pose and print the calibration mat that fits your paper format. In my case it's A4. After you print it, place your controller on the first on the one on your paper then click calibrate tracker poses select your paper format and click start calibration after it's blinking green move it to the two on on the paper now pick up the control for the last time and it should be tracking relatively now, if your controller like mine is pointing in some random direction, you can place it 
flat on the table. Then press the start and select button at the same time. This will recenter the controller rotation. You can click here to show tracker triangulations. And it's not perfect, but it's good. You can try, if it's not good enough, you can retry the tracker poses calibration. If we see show tracker triangulations, it's way more precise. It says it's actually perfect. And to test if it all works correctly, click this arrow to try tracking all colors and select test the tracking pose. In my case, my controllers and my headset too is tracking perfectly. Now you can close the config tool, but leave PSMOOS service open. Go to your virtual device manager folder and open virtual device manager. Here you can click manage virtual controllers, then click virtual motion tracker. In Steam VR driver, click register driver. Now in trackers, add two trackers, controller ID zero and controller ID one. Select VMT tracker ID, I don't know, one or two for each controller. Select VMT tracker role. In my case, my controller zero is my right controller and my controller ID one is my left controller. Add in SteamVR tracker role, select handed right and handed left. Now click auto start trackers, select controller ID one and zero. So now open Steam. Now connect your PlayStation VR as and start Ivory Driver for Steam VR. Now, after it's started, open Ivory Settings by going to the tray here and double clicking on the triangle icon. In Steam VR, select Driver Mode VR Direct. And render resolution, I like to set it to 2560 by 1440. And now in tracking, tracker select PS Move service and disable headset LEDs. Now you can restart Steam VR. Now what's left to do is open Virtual Device Manager and click Start OSC Server. You should see that in Steam VR, two controllers will appear. Now if you put on your PSVR you, sh you should see your controllers in hand, it's all working perfectly as you can see. So now what's left is to download the game.